Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve, and today in this unimportant review, we have the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collections, Power Ranger X Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Morph Shredder, or you may know as the Green Ranger Shredder. And if you guys are interested in picking this guy up, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, he was way too excited to go check out that link. He, you're already purchased, buddy. We don't, we don't. Well, maybe we need another one of you. We'll find out. But uh, we have a new affiliate for the channel with Entertainment Earth, which, again, link in the description below if you guys, after the review, would like to go pick one of these up for yourselves or just Lightning Collection figures in general. You guys like Power Rangers. You guys just like collecting? <laughs> they are awesome for you. I've been shopping with them for years, so it's great to see them helping to support the channel. Uh, also, they have currently a free shipping going out for the summer if you use... The code probably should have had this already prepared before I started filming. Uh, Sunfree22, if you guys spend over $39, which, on a high note, this guy's already <laughs> decently close to that. So you maybe have to get one other Power Ranger figure, but who doesn't need to spoil themselves? Because God knows I do it every day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, super awesome. And again, we'd like to thank Entertainment Earth for... Uh, helping support the channel. But anyways, uh, for the actual figure here, um, main reason I got this is because I just really love the comics for the Power Rangers Turtles crossover. And easily like my favorite thing that came out of the comic was super stoked when they announced this figure and then took for freaking ever. Also, did I mention that he's currently in stock on Entertainment Earth? Because I know on certain retailers, he's not currently available. So <laughs> you can actually get him like I have him right now. Awesome. So, yeah, decided to grab him and just super stoked to see if this guy's any good. Because Green Ranger, one of my favorite Power Rangers of all time. Shredder, easily my favorite, well, one of my favorite villains of all time, next to Lord Zed, which oddly enough wasn't a part of this. We had Rita. But, anyways, uh, I guess we'll get into the package. So, without further ado, for its little prison here, uh, you would be able to see the figure here, but you do get the nice cartoonish. Looking shredder on the side here. Tells you what it is on the bottom. It's got this green kind of ooze coloring going on. Uh, you get this pretty much, I think it's the exact same image on the side here. Same one on the opposite side. On the back, just shows them striking a pose of one of the effects pieces. Thankfully, it comes with two. And some legal mumbo jumbos on the bottom with some more writing on the top. So, for the actual shredder, uh, for his accessories, he comes with two of these little blue swooshy effects which what these are is for the uh what do we call these the talons <laughs> his claws uh, which he does come with a pair of clench fists for <laughs> punching and stabbing because we can't just have slashing motions oh no 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 it's got to have double damage uh, there is some slots on the inside of the effects. Now it's just kind of lining it up, sliding it over. There we go. Oh, that's actually, oh, it actually comes out the front. That's cool. Actually, wow, well, I actually like that a lot because now it has that more like traveling look. I kind of thought it was just going to go over top of it, sort of just like it was charging up, which is cool. Doesn't make as much sense, but it's cool. But <laughs> now you get... Actually, kind of has more of a motion feel to it. That's actually really sweet. Kind of want to put both of these on now. Oh, I am actually digging that. I don't know how you make two of these make sense. Because <laughs> you want to do it with, like he's punching. So it has the effect. But then if you have the other one here, it doesn't quite convey that. Maybe you do like double like double uppercuts I think would be kind of cool probably have to have fighting somebody but it is an option uh, if you want to swap out the hands I'll show you guys with one but you want to grab base of the forearm base of the hand eh, pull it apart same thing it's a decently long peg also not going to say what that looks like but it goes into the forearm you just want to go straight so that you don't break it. Looks good. Speaking of, for the rest of the character, helmet looks really nice too. I will say, when I first saw the images, and even the front profile even now, it looks kind of big. 
like maybe a little too fat. But I think the way the figure came out, it makes more sense because I the way it's shaped, I could believe that a head fits inside of this thing. And then also I think a lot of it has to do too with just the uh, the actual like shredder part of the helmet just makes it seem a lot thicker than what it really is. Also really like the red for the eyes. So one thing I really digged about these ones in particular is like all the uh, the Power Ranger turtles, you can still see the eyes through the helmet, but they don't have like pigments. It's just kind of <sighs> trying to think of the word it's or phrase I should say. It's a more like they're ninja forms because when they're fighting, they're pupilless, but then like just casual conversation, they have pupils. And it just really helps to give off that fighting appearance. Also, you get the dragon shield, which looks good. Also has some scuffs, which are actually meant to be there. But the gold looks really nice. Also, can we talk about this cloth cape? Because <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite things, because a lot of companies tend to like to use the plastic ones, which you might get some nice detailing on them. You get a little bit more texturing, but they're kind of... You, oh, excuse me, so I got the sniffles. You can only really um, get one good pose with it. And then it just kind of makes everything else harder. Because with that, you wouldn't really be able to move the arms too well. But with the cloth cape here, you don't really got the issue. Then it's also sewn very nicely because it actually has double stitching here. So you don't have to really worry about like the sides fraying. And then even the bottom has some damaged texturing, which looks pretty solid. And you can kind of just tuck these over top. I guess not really over top. Around the back of the shoulder plates. So then they don't really get in the way. You can still have Shredder kind of doing his thing. Which all of his armor pieces are done in gold. He still has the armbands too. Just like the Green Ranger would. And even the undersection. They actually painted the cloth here on the bottom too. Which looks really good. Just... A solid green body. Same with on the back. You also get the wrapping around. And I love too that the morpher is like holding uh, the belt in here. Which is really cool. We gotta kind of have a place for it. But I like that it's kind of off-centered to match this. This actually would be kind of neat to see as a fabric too. Granted, I can, I can understand this guy is already, I feel like, well, to be fair, he was a little more expensive than your average Power Ranger character. And I think a lot of it is he's a little bigger and you get cloth goods. So I think at the price, they maybe could have tossed in a, that little extra too. Would have been nice. And he's got gold for his knee pads. One negative I would say is that these are a different color than what you see on the shin guards. Same one on the ankles too. This is just like... He, gold colored plastic while this is actually painted and it's the only thing on them that's like that so it does stand out a little bit compared to the rest of it now if you really wanted to you could go over top of it with just like a little bit of gold like liquitex paint would probably solve the problem for you even the back here's painted silver too so personally i think as a negative these could have been painted this maybe could have been cloth I don't feel like you really needed another accessory for the most part. Uh, for the price, not bad. I think maybe a little bit high, but before I get my final judgments, because again, even, I don't want to lie to you guys, even if we got affiliates, I'm going to be honest with figures here. Oh no, I'm going to have to edit this video now. Well, I sneezed earlier, so I guess I got to edit no matter what. Um, but I forgot totally to do the articulation for this dude. So, anyways, you can see, actually, you want to see articulation? Like, look at that. Just swinging diving punches for the thumbnail. Also, man, Servo's hair is everywhere. God. All right. Anyways, so for his articulation, head, rotate all the way around. And not too much side to side, but you do get forward and back motion. Arms can go up about that far, down about that far. Nice forward. Nice. Decent back. You also get a hinge here at the bicep, rotation at the forearm, 
double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist. You can also go forward and back, straightens up that far. Back go about that far, which hurts forward about that far. Also has a ratchet, oddly enough. Uh, decent side to side, rotate them all the way around. Legs, nice splits, closes about that far, rotation at the top of the thigh, and then double jointed knee. And feet can go side to side and forward and back on a ratchet. So it helps to hold the position decently well. Just kind of get a general size for a normal. He hasn't been moved much. He got a little bit color because I want to be a little bit shinier. Oh, he's a little shorter, actually. Pair next to Tommy, definitely a lot bigger. Compared next to a turtle, definitely bigger. Uh, to be honest, I would say the turtles probably weigh a little bit more, mainly because of the plastic shell there. But overall, pretty sweet. Uh, I still actually really dig it. Uh, it's definitely going to be more. You kind of got to be into this thing to really merit them. I wouldn't say. Like, every Power Ranger fan needs to get this. Every Turtle fan needs to get this. But if you really like the comic, this thing is super dope. And pretty much, like, the entire line. I think they did a really good job with all the characters, personally. And would definitely recommend getting a hold of them. Um, I'm still super... Like, my favorite thing is definitely this cloth cape. I think it just helps to make him stand out even more so than he already did. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the Green Ranger Shredder. If you guys read the comics, what you thought about it as well. And again, link in the description below if you guys like to get a hold of one of these guys for yourselves today. But anyways, that's pretty much it. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Yeah. Subscribe to become a ranger today. We also got a Patreon Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Ah, oh, man, I almost messed that up today. If you guys like to keep up with the channel and donate, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, we got a Discord attached to our Patreon as well. But anyways, uh, see you guys in the next video.